JB, fantastic final day. Um, what were your thoughts when you started the, the day? You knew you, you had to do some chasing down. Um, in actual fact, I thought it's only, almost only a miracle that can, um, because I'm five back. Um, I knew I had to shoot, shoot low. Um, I didn't think I was going to come out guns blazing like that. Um, but that's, uh, that just shows how the Lord works. And um, I was walking down eight and I was talking to my carry and I missed five putts inside 10 feet and I was five on the path through eight. So I knew now you can see his presence and you can see his greatness all over you. When you got that um, birdie run going, when did you start feeling like, hold on, I can actually um, do this? Um, well, from the start, I know, you know, I know a final round, I've been in this position many, many times. The fi final round is, the, is probably the most difficult, you have to, you have to make putts and you have to eat it well. Um, you know, the guys are playing well, but they don't have that experience I have. Um, you have to make putts in the final round to win. Um, and you also have to, to eat the ball well, otherwise there will be too much pressure. So I knew if I can get three, four, five under par, I've got a chance. Um, around the turn, um, things quieted down a little bit, but at 17 you hit a fantastic approach. Can you just talk us through that? Um, 17 was my... I didn't like that all the whole week. I made two silly bogeys. Um, and I actually hit the green yesterday for the first time, so I knew um, 17 years old that's going to, for me, um, make or break it. Then I just did an absolute perfect shot. Um, and then I actually made a putt, so that was pretty cool. You seem pretty excited at the putt. I think I thought, like I said, I thought that was make or break, and then when I made it, I knew, you know, now they're chasing me, um, and they're really chasing me. So, um, can you talk us through? It was a very good scramble part of 18. Um, I would like actually to see that TV replay because that was my best drive of the week, hands down. I mean, I hit it perfectly, exactly where I wanted to, and I hit it well. I thought it might have caught that tree because um, I was walking in a fairway looking for the ball, and then someone called me. 50 yards back, there's a ball, and then when I got there, behind the tree, so I knew now I'm gonna have to up and down. And, and for me, the bunker is the best place to miss it. Um, I didn't need a very good bunker shot, but I hit it close enough to make it. And these greens are, are so good, and if you hit it online, they, they're going in. So I knew I must just get the right line, and I won't miss. I've only got two more questions for you. What does this victory mean um, in terms of where you're at at the moment in your career? I think I can't even begin to describe. Um, you know, I've had really terrible last year, year and a half, um, and I've been working hard, working closely with, with Douglas Wood, with um, a few other people, just to try and get my get my, me mentally right, get me you know get my golf swing right. It makes a big difference winning, um, and now I've still got the capability of winning. Fun question. You're off to Malaysia. Um, what's Hopefully. The, <laughs> what's the plan? Um, um, you're going to play a few European tour events? Yeah. Um, I'm going to. I think, you know, I've, I've always liked to support the Sunshine Tour. This is, I think it's my eighth event this year. Um, so that should say, like, that it speak for itself. But, you know, I like South Africa. I like Asia. Um, I'm not yet a big fan of Europe, so I'm going to try and, and play as much as I can in the places that I like. Um, but obviously, you know, I haven't got a card for next year, so I need to keep it. So I'll... I will be forced to play as much as I can.